each time, I think I'm getting better and better. My, oh, right, I'm still recording, okay. I made my onion rings. I'm making my onion rings, and this is like a healthy snack that I enjoy, and I learned how to make it myself by watching YouTube, but, um, I put flour, so a cup, a cup of flour, and actually more two, more two, would probably pour two cups than that. And then I put like a teaspoon of baking powder. And I put some Italian breadcrumbs. This is like my style of doing it. Parsley, sage, some garlic, garlic herb and seasoning, and a little bit of onion powder. And what I do is I dip it in the egg batter with the seasoning. Then put it in the flour and a little bit uh, mixed up with baking powder and of course you can see right now it's on the so I might have to change my grease but actually the ones I have right here that are done they're looking really good I'm actually uh, really happy of the slices that I have made from the onions because last time I made these bad boys, I'm telling you, it was, uh, <laughs> um, smaller. But I do put them in water with a little bit of salt, just to kind of, actually, I had got this from YouTube, but by me watching them, and watching other people have their own little, like, styles of how they're going to make it. So, looks like I don't want to burn any of them, but I do want to flip them over. Um, I think this is about the fifth time I didn't make anyway. And each time I make them, <laughs> they're different. But they actually, the more practice I do, the more better I get at it. So, this is like a second healthy set, snack that I make. For myself and uh, my daughter, if she likes, she likes them. So um, I just wanted to a little bit record of myself as I am making my uh, onion rings, and then I'm gonna make me a sauce. Don't know which one yet. Try this on. I'm trying to work. Got that nice crunch to it, and I have to. Make some dipping. How? Huh? But I like how it crunches. It's like that nice crunch, and then I put some like a little bit more garlic seasoning on that. But and it tastes so good. Yeah. So eating healthy and having a healthy snack, and also learning. I usually don't do measuring cups, but sometimes I do, and I just kind of weigh it out, and it all seems to work out really good, so, and I should have started earlier when I first started, but I cut the onion, and I put it in the water, and I put the salt in it, and it helps, and then once they come out, up there a little. If I would have did it a little differently, then yeah, it would have been cutting differently. But anyway, as I was saying, um, cut them all up. This is a good size. Okay, and I put this. And if you don't want to get your hands dirty, also you can use a fork or a spoon, or I use sometimes this part. Put it in the little bit of the egg and from what I hear eggs are really not that good to eat but if you know you know about the egg situation I'm trying to substitute the egg for uh, what is it mushrooms I take this one and I kind of put it to the side right there don't want to touch the oil <laughs> that's not good um, yes, 
and it looks like these right here I might change the oil like I was saying but it turned out pretty good so I'm pretty really good and like I said everyone has their own recipe on what they what they want to use for their onion ring this is a double one oh it's gonna be good I'm trying to flip it over as so as you can see I'm holding it in my hand and the bubbles that you see is from the flour and of course the baking powder that I put in there as well so yeah doing pretty good doing pretty good okay show you again put the egg the onion nice good slice cover it I do a little shake 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 flip it the SS off and put it on the stove hey now that's how we doing it baby oh, that's how I'm doing it anyway If you don't want to get your fingers dirty by re-dipping it, re-dipping you have to wash your hands. You can use a fork or the bottom of the fork that I use and hear that slizzle. Hey, hey. Sounds good. But uh, not too much salt in the water, just enough to kind of like give it a little thing which means not thing. Give it a um, it's just a, it just needs a little bit and from what I hear it it's <laughs> it helps and it does so uh kind of put that and as so and, and the egg with the seasoning I put egg and seasoning and then I also put seasoning also in my flour and my baking powder and the tiny breadcrumbs are in here as well. In fact, I might put a little bit more. And like I said, I don't use measuring cups. I just kind of... I know exactly when to stop. Just a little bit. A little bit at a time. And I mix it that up with the flour and the baking powder. And I put that right there. It's really easy. At first, you know what? I really didn't like onion rings. I didn't really like onions, period. But, uh, I, uh, learned, <laughs> learned that onions are really good for you. Um, yeah, it took me a long time to actually try this out, but I'm glad I did, and now I know, uh, my own little recipe of onion rings. And so, just, I love it. It's so good. Now, besides me washing my hands every couple of minutes, but other than that, everything's good, baby, good. Have a great one.